um, I help um, self-employed business owners to automate and streamline their businesses, their online businesses, by um, showing them the exact steps in the right order to get fast results. So what that means is there's a lot of tech out there that you don't need to know. For instance, I did some of the automation training myself, and there are lots of bits that you don't need. So I only teach the bits that you need and the bits that are going to work um, and the bits that are going to actually um, help you uh, get uh, consistent lead generation. So the lead generation that I teach is, will get you uh, leads 24-7 when you're out in the park with your, with your kids or whether you're at the beach, it doesn't matter. You, these leads come through all the time. And because you put it out into Facebook or wherever, it's international. So I get people at 3 o'clock in the morning, midnight, all that kind of thing. So just in the last two weeks, I put out a, a lead magnet, can believe lead magnet, and um, got over 200 leads, and that was all organic. So that's wow. Just, that's just a post. Put the link in the comments because otherwise, if you put an external link in in the body, it limits your reach. Facebook doesn't like external links. See, this is the thing. You know all these cool tricks and these cool tips that a lot of us don't know. And I'd love to just touch on that point of what you said, that there's a lot of tech you don't need to know, because I know when you get started, and just by the way, let me interrupt myself. If you're joining us live, please pop an emoji or, um, you know, re a react at least so everybody knows to join us. And if you're watching the replay, please pop hashtag replay um, and pop your questions and comments in here and we will get to them. So when you first get started, I remember when I, first went into this well over four years ago first of all I didn't even know what passive income was so that's how much of a greenie I was like I had no clue um and I just remember I joined these people and they said they had this blueprint I'm like that's what I need I need a clear map that shows me step by step what to do in what order this blueprint you know in goodwill hunting when um when uh, Matt Damon goes to the wall with the chalk and solves the complicated maths equation, it was like that. I'm like, this is not a blueprint. There's all these <laughs> steps. <laughs> so I still don't know if I'm doing it from inside a maze. I'm like, where do I start? And that's what you do. You take all of that away for people. Well, what I do is I, is I demystify all the jargon, you know? So people are using all these acronyms, VSL and GHL and, you know, different acronyms and people don't, don't when you're starting out you don't know you don't know what they are um and then they say you need seo <clears throat> but at the end you know i've had people come to me and say uh can you help me with seo i'm like sure let me have a look at your website oh i don't have one well you can't do seo without a website <laughs> and you know and it's, it's little things like that and i just meet people where they are um, and we work from there. You know, I, I don't have a one size fits all. For every business, they're in a different, uh, you know, in a different spot, in a different part of their journey. And we look at what they've got, we map that out, <clears throat> and we look what we can do better. And nine times out of 10, I actually save them money um, because they're using multiple apps to do multiple things. And those apps aren't actually all talking to each other. So they've got to log in here, log in there, log in there. Instead, they can actually do it in one platform. Um, wow. Where, it, where you can literally include your social media, you can do your social media scheduling, all your DMs come in there. So you don't even need to be on your Facebook or on your Instagram, all your DMs are coming in. Um, and you can reply to those DMs directly, you can email that person, um, or you can send them an SMS. So there's, there's so much you can do with it. And then all your funnels are there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, some people don't even really understand what a funnel is. A funnel is just a sales. I didn't. Process. I didn't. I had no idea. I had no idea what a sales page was. I had no idea what a funnel was. I had no idea what a landing page was. SEO was like, now you're talking Swahili. Like, yeah, SEO, <laughs> unless, you've got, unless you've got an e-commerce business, the SEO is it's it's not something you're gonna you're gonna build up from the start. There's more important things in the beginning. Um, because to be found on the first page of Google is literally impossible if if you're not spending hundreds of thousands. So uh, businesses like The Warehouse, Lil Leeming, Samsung, they spend hundreds of thousands so that they guarantee to be on page one. And you could be on page one today and you'll be on page two tomorrow because somebody else has done SEO work. You know, let's not jump ahead of yours. And the rules keep changing on the on the uh, Google algorithm. So different things become, you know, important to 
it's how Google's going to rank you. So, you know, I go through a, like a 10 step checklist of things that are an, a non negotiable. You have to do it, otherwise, Google's going to rank you poorly. That's that's right. It. Yeah. So, you just have to. So, if you rely on leads through a website or um, a landing page or anything that's online that can be found through a search, um, then that these things are very important. And, you know, so the top three is, is sort of the speed, your security, um, and then also the, 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 the user experience, so the UX, and then the UI, which is the user interface. So what does it feel like to interact with the with the business? Can I get to where I want to get in three steps? Is, is the website loading in under three seconds? These are all very, very important things that Google can measure and Google can see. So see, this is great. This is gold because this is stuff that you know my expertise is communication and you know relationships and speaking. Little things like, I don't know how long it takes my website to load. I don't, we do even check that. So, and this is what's so great about having a community of experts is that you, you can take care of that. So, so who, who are your, who are the people you work with? Small business owners. Well, almost naturally, since I started it, it, it you know, the large majority, I would say 96% of my clients to date since 2021 are women in business. And Part of that reason is because I have a real passion for helping women in business, particularly um, perhaps a you know a single mom or someone who really needs to provide for their family, and um, they want to do it in such a way that's not going to impact too much on their their family life. You know, their, their time with their kids because they're only little for a short period, right? Um, yeah. My son's twenty two this year, and my daughter just turned nineteen. So. You know, I know what it's like to have little kids and, and, and run a business. I've run many other businesses before. So I know the ins and outs. And my job is to keep up to date with technology so you don't have to. Um, I basically. Oh, that's a good tagline. Yeah, so I that, like that. <laughs> every day I learn, every day I teach. So I've been teaching myself AI. So I've developed a whole lot of prompts that you can put into your AI to spit out a blog, to spit out a landing page. Um, Facebook post, Instagram post, uh, LinkedIn post, any anything, uh, article, um, a list of questions. What can I ask? You know, I I serve uh, mothers with um, small kids that, that that battle to get them to sleep. What can I ask? What are the qualifying questions? To, uh, the the AI will spit that out. And the system that I use to build funnels and and email marketing has got AI built into it. So at every point subject line, body, um, email, at every point, there's an AI prompt where you just put in a few words and it spits out something that you perhaps wouldn't have thought about. Um, and I've seen it work. I've seen it, my open rate, I've seen my open rate go high by by using some of those prompts. So, <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, I, I can do, I can either build out, uh, yesterday I put out um, a done for you. So basically, if you want to run um, a course, a membership, a mastermind, a challenge, summit, doesn't matter really, but all, all the components are kind of sim are similar, right? So I can actually build out that whole process. All you do is press go and your whole campaign will run automatically in the back end and all personalized. So you'd be saying, hi, Michelle, how are you? You can say Michelle in the subject line. You can say Michelle, you know, throughout the actual email. How does that sound, Michelle? So it's really easy to do personalization. And so because some people think, oh, you know, automation is, is, is it's not very personal. But it is, you know, if, 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 you're, if you're doing a good job at attracting your niche or your audience, then what you deliver to them through email or, or whatever is going to be valuable to them. So that's for me, every Friday I, I share a free resource. You know, um, and I can immediately see who's downloaded it and when they downloaded, where they downloaded it from, what time. I can see everything. So now, wow. I can, now I can go look at their business. I can put them into my CRM, which is also in the same system. So everything, you know, it's not all over the shop. Um, and a lot of people to achieve what I achieve are using at least four or five apps. That's cost yeah. between four and five hundred dollars a month. I'm mm. advocating under a hundred dollars a month. For everything. Under 100? Under 100. Wow, that's really cool. So there's a, there's so many gold things in what you said. And if you're watching this replay, I imagine you're probably going to want to go back and watch it again because 
and take notes because of all these incredible things Vanessa said. And of course, we're going to share her links so that you can actually check her out and connect with her uh, because clearly she's a genius. Um, so many things. One of the key things I wanted to pick up on is the simplicity. And I think one of the reasons people struggle in small business and in online business and you know, most of us have come from a career or a job which we are, are so competent in that this is, it's very overwhelming to suddenly feel incompetent. And so we go back to where we're comfortable. And it's because I think part of it's it, because it seems so complicated and there are so many things we don't get. And what you're saying is actually, no, it doesn't have to be. It actually can be very simple, streamlined, and with the right person on, on your side, a lot of the pressure. And I guess in the same way that people might hire a VA to do a lot of things in the background so that they don't have to spend a lot of time doing it, using a done-for-you service like this just takes a lot of the load off and then not having to find time to check on this and follow up on that and make this thing work. So this is really exciting stuff. Well, I mean, even just when you're building out systems like sales funnels, which is basically the prospect journey, so it could be lead magnet, offer, whatever the, the, the hook in is, and then the journey you're going to take them on. And so you need certain tech for that. But you don't need 100 million things. Once you've got that tech sorted and you've had a proper funnel uh, developer develop it, your testing time is, you, there's no testing because we've done the testing. So you just know that when you press go, everything's going to work. And I trust me, when you build your own funnel, you test and you test and you test, it doesn't work, you test, it doesn't work, you test, until you know what you're doing. Um, but I also teach um, my clients in, to know enough to go in and make small edits, to go in and duplicate or clone. So once we've built you a nice um, landing page, thank you page, nice email templates, you can actually go in there and you can clone those edit them and create a complete new funnel all with those templates already in there all um, centered around your brand so your brand colors your logos it's got your bio it's got the testimonials in it all you ever changing out is the lead magnet or the offer or be it a you know a master class or webinar membership you, you're just changing out a small amount of information each time but you don't have to worry about your meta tags and your metadata <laughs> All this stuff that's already in there. See, Even see, now my head's going to that place. It's like, oh, I think I might go and watch the Bob the Beautiful. Right? Yeah. So this is this is it. This is the point. So this is super exciting. Um, and I mean, you touched on the fact that you get it because you've been a business owner and your mum. So why does this light you up so much? I think no, for me, it's very rewarding when I've given uh, a client some advice or we've done a session, and I actually see them implementing what I've taught them online. Um, and I see it's making a difference. I'm almost like a proud mum, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, feel like my, I feel like my clients are my, are my, are my students, you know, because I, I like to teach. Now, a lot of coaches say, don't teach, don't teach, because you're giving it all away. But if I don't teach you, how am I going to empower you with the knowledge to run your business sustainably? I can't be in your site 24 seven every day. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm always mm -hmm. available to help and I'm often helping um, and with a system that I promote, I can actually hop into your account and see where you've made, made a mistake. Um, so that's very helpful. You're not waiting for a big international support team to get back to you. I can just hop in there. We can quickly go on a Zoom. We can have a look what's wrong. I point it out to you. I, I'm not a big believer in going and then fixing it for you. I'm a big believer in showing you how to fix it. So next time, you can fix it yourself. Brilliant. And that's a much better way coming from a teaching background. You know, you don't do things. I say this. It's the equivalent of, of parents carrying kids' school bag for them. It doesn't help them. Exactly. It doesn't help them at all. <laughs> it doesn't help you. Well, at the time, they think it's sweet, but I've been in the long run. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, they think they're doing something kind, but yeah. it, all it shows the kid is that they're incompetent to manage something that's actually designed for their body weight. And so yeah. <laughs> it's not like they're carrying rocks to school. So at the end of the day, you know, everybody out there is saying, I teach you this. If you follow this exact method, you will get 10K in 30 days. But everybody's got a different method. You need to have a method that, yes, is logical. So what I'm teaching is, is the, the steps in terms of technology and client journey. This is, you know what I mean? It's not, I don't have to adapt it different for you. or different. You can say to me, look, I like to wait five days between my emails. 
then we do that. But the, 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 the properties are the same. I like to email every day. Fine, we'll do that. Um, I only like to email once a month. We'll do that. Um, so, you know, you don't have to. It's, it's, it, it's 100 percent in your, your control. You do it the way that you make you think that's comfortable for you to manage, and also what you know your clients um, and your audience will be comfortable with. So you know you don't want them to unsubscribe. So you need to add value in the beginning, you know, and nurture. And that's a really key point because, and this is what I, I people who've watched a lot of my work will hear me say this all the time. You know, it's not about us; it's about our ideal client. Oh, absolutely. It's about us giving the people we are serving what they need. And so if we overcomplicate it, if we're speaking, you know, like we're on the top of Everest and they're putting on their backpack at the bottom, that's not helpful. We need to go down and help them clip on the backpack and show them how much where it needs to sit and show them where all the parts go and make sure it's sitting right and then we go up together. So oh, technology, yeah. I believe in having a really strong foundation. You know, it's no difference to a house's foundation. If you build a house foundation for a single level and then you later decide to put a, a, a two-story house on it, it's not going to work because the walls will start cracking and then you can patch that up and then patch that up and it'll go again. Patch that up. Eventually, what do you have to do? You have to boil it all down, put new foundations and then build a two-story. And, you know, that's costly. It's time-consuming. But I see it being done over and over and over. So I just set you off in the right direction with the right tech um, that doesn't overwhelm you, that you understand all the, the working parts, but you didn't have to actually develop it. But at the same time, if that's not possible for you in, in, in terms of a done for you, I can do certain parts and teach you to do certain parts. So while we're building the landing page, you know, the final landing page, we could get you to write your emails. Um, write out your email sequence or something like that. So, you know, I can I can customize it to to who. And some people have tried to build a funnel. You know, they don't have to use my system. We can build in other systems. But the point is Wow. That, okay, that's cool. But the point is that I've been in sales and marketing 30 years. And so I've used every CRM known to man. Right. Um, and I've tried them all. So anyone you can tell me that you've used, I've tried it. Um, and the reason that I try it is because if I'm going to say something is better than something else, I better have checked out that other thing as well. So, you know, when, when I say something, it's 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 based on facts. It's based on my actual experience of using systems. Um, and the system I use, hands down, is all the big online names are moving to the, to to uh, go high level. All the big names. Interesting. Yeah, all of them. Even like famous, um, like Gunston's son, he's a famous fun, uh, funnel builder for ClickFunnels. Um, and he's moved all his funnels over because the cool thing with Go High Level, and I've got a white label agency version of it, but it's still Go High Level, um, is that you can import all your funnels from ClickFunnels. So if you've got ClickFunnels um, or MailChimp, you can import directly. You don't have to rebuild them. You just import oh, them. Oh, that's cool. And that is off-putting for people. So now maybe we may be speaking about some pretty high-level stuff. So let's just bring it back down to some basics, if you don't mind. Um, everybody, Vanessa said a really key thing to me just before we came on, um, and I talked about building in a buffer with calls and stuff. She said, yes, it's always important to have a check check. And then we talked about camera position, and I know my camera's a little higher, So, and, and microphone and things like that. So what would you say if there's sort of one what would be kind of the most fundamental base because i think a lot of people get put off because they think they don't have the best equipment or they don't have all the best tools and and it does you don't have to have expensive top level best everything when you get started do you no not at all i mean i um when i'm doing a, a workshop or where it's very important that people hear everything that i say very clearly and because it's going over so many platforms, it's on LinkedIn, it's on Facebook, it's, on, it's all over the show. I just have a little uh, lapel. It just clips on here. Um, mm -hmm. It's only about that small. Um, and it's USB with a very long cord. So I could, for instance, and so you just put it down the shirt, you know, so up under the shirt and you just clip it here. No one can see it, but it makes a big, big difference. And I know people are intimidated. They see people with these all little mighty mics, um, but it's not necessary. It really isn't. You know, the big mics are for if you're going to talk in an auditorium or, 
you know, in a big, in a big, huge setting. But I mean, it just you, just from, you know, from here to your screen, you don't need it. I mean, for yeah. me today, I'm not using the lapel mic, but if I was, it probably was something we can do another time where people can hear the difference. Um, it makes a yeah, big, that'd be cool. Yeah, it makes a big difference. But at the moment, I'm using a Microsoft um, HD external um, webcam, which has got a microphone built into it. Um, and so when you get, hop on your Zooms, you just make sure you've got that setting and usually do it once and it, it'll always pick up the same settings. But that's really all you need. Um, you know, a laptop, an external screen, a webcam with a, with a, um, with a microphone built on it. That's good enough to start. That's not going to cost you more than, well, I don't know. It depends on the laptop you get. But, um, you know, if you've already got a laptop, that tech shouldn't cost you much more than $130. Um, so how cool is that? And, and that's really good. And I've got to, and that, and that was something I said I was saving for the life. I ran my business. Now, granted, I didn't have a lot of clients, but it wasn't because of my equipment. It was because I wasn't clear about what I was doing, which I've come back to. But I ran it from, I don't know if you can see it, a, um, a where are you, a four hundred dollar Chromebook and an iPad. Well, you know, if I did smart. the job. If you smart, you can, you can run your entire business off, off, your, off your phone. Well, of course. You, well, which is more powerful than the computer that sent people to the moon. So, you know, yeah. So this is the thing. Okay, so that's really good just spelling that. Um, so now just before, because obviously it's fascinating and we could talk all day. It's so cool. So I just wanted to, to kind of connect back. How did you and I connect? What was it that drew us together? I think we were in some common um, women in business groups. Uh, I think there may have been a comment or maybe a shout out or or something like that, which then um, made me go and look um, at your group. Um, and at the time, I, it's, it's, I'm sure it's like this for a lot of business owners, but you get so busy in the doing and the complexities of, of the different things you've got to do in your business. Oh, I've got to post on Facebook. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. You sometimes forget. You, tr you try and provide a solution for everybody, right? But at the end of the day, you can't, you can't, you make everybody happy. You can. You have to break it down into who do I help? You know, so I help self-employed online business owners. Um, and the key, the key, my key motivator for it is, is so they can get consistent leads in a professional manner um, and that they don't have to sit there manually doing one email, one email, one email, one email. And they build that list and, you know, if, if, for instance, your Facebook uh, account gets shut down or you're in Facebook jail or you've still got your email list, no mm. one can take that away from you. You own it, uh, whereas Facebook owns you. It, it's a complete other way around. Do you know what I'm saying? We just play yes. that little game of these. But with email, those are your rules. You make, you know, and a lot of people say, well, you don't need a website. But that's also a place to send people. You know, that's it's another funnel. It's another way of funneling traffic. Um, absolutely absolutely uh, but I mean the thing is like I talked to you I've got a lot of those things but but I I stick with the simple like going back to what you were saying with the tech at the because you can always add so that's interesting that you came back to because it was doing the I help statement coming up with the message that really connected with you and and are you clearer about your message now than before we chatted oh definitely you know in, in, in actual fact I was just saying to you earlier it actually takes you when you reframe it or when you, when you condense it like that, it's it, it feels foreign. Actually, it feels a bit foreign because for a long time you've been you've been you've been going on with a different mindset. But I sat here this morning and I said it over and over and over until I could say it properly. And um, yeah, I think that if you keep saying it over to yourself, write it down, um, put it on the post at night, put it on your screen, and just go back to that every time you feel confused or, or um, overwhelmed to write a piece of content. Look at that. Okay, who do I help? How do I help those people? Okay, right. No, I know. You can even put that into, into an AI prompt. You know, I can write that whole thing and I can say, and I can say, tell it to rewrite it. So all you do is you put what you want to rewrite in inverted commas. And in the beginning, you go rewrite this. It'll rewrite the whole thing for you. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. I use it all the time. I sent off a legal letter last night with it or a response to someone. So, um, yeah, it's an amazing, amazing tool. I could literally spend all day talking about that too. Cool. Um, so, obviously, we're going to drop the links for people to work with you. Would you recommend people work with me if you found it helpful without reframing? 
Yeah, I mean, for me, I felt like you you got to the point quite, you know, quickly and succinctly. I know succinct is one of your favorite words, and so I thought I'd <laughs> <it. laughs> um, And you don't, you don't muck around and, and waste people's time. You know, that that's that's what I I I like to work like that. Um, and so I appreciate, you know, that that's how how you work, and that we then I'm still saying the same thing, you know. So it has helped for me to. So pull yourself back, take a step back and have another look at it. Um, I think that it gives people a new perspective. And, you know, I always say to people, don't, don't feel afraid to reach out for help because sometimes just a fresh perspective, fresh eyes, someone who's not emotionally involved in your business um, can actually make sometimes, even though it's a small thing, it can make a big difference to your mindset. Oh, spot on. And and by the way, I needed someone to give me the clarity for me to say what I needed to say. Because we can't, we, you know, you can only do so much of yourself. I'm too close to it. But once that happened, <clears throat> now people are reaching out to me and saying, hey, will you help me? So, and that's that's so much easier than scrambling and sending DMs going, do you want do you want my help? Do you want my help? Do you want my help? People are like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, can you help? It's yeah. a much nicer way to live and operate. And you're mm -hmm. not spamming people. So that's awesome. Well, well, that's the thing. That's why if you build yourself a lead generation system with three or four lead magnets, which can be updated all the time, right? So at the moment, Canva templates work really well. You know, my small business, they need that. They go in, add their brand, boom, and they can use them. So it's a big time saver. And particularly for people that are learning, I've got videos for that, you know, little tutorials to show them how do, how do you add your brand? How do you figure out your brand color? Because some people have DIY'd it, right? They don't know what their brand color code is. They they don't. But Canva can tell you if you do, if you do it the way I should. Canva will tell you what the color is. So uh, that's amazing. And the that's font. Absolutely mind blowing. And they'll <laughs> tell you your font as well. So if you don't know your font, Whoa. and you just you just um, oh I like how that looks, but you don't know what it's called. Um, there's a, a quick way in two minutes you can figure it out in Canva. See, this is the thing. So I'm quite certain that everybody watching this is going madly taking notes and going, oh, my gosh, there's all these things Finesse can do. So that's one way to go. Or please re-watch this video. And Vanessa's going to drop a couple of links in after we finish. And I would urge you to reach out and have a chat to her um, because she's a great listener and she will really take on board the things that you're looking for. And she's got a really cool way of, of getting it all happening and, and doing it with you and kind of holding your hand along the way until such time as you're ready to fly. Because she, as, as Vanessa said, she's not going to just do it for you. I mean, there is done for you, which is obviously a paid service. But ultimately, we're also responsible for our own businesses. So um, having, having you there in that support. And I just think you're amazing, the things you do and the way you support women and, and um I'm so grateful that you're part of this group and I'm so grateful for what you I've already learned from you just in the time we spent together. Um, and I would absolutely recommend folks, if there's stuff that you're looking that you just don't get with the tech, with automating things, with making life easier, Vanessa is your person. So reach yeah, out to her. So, I mean, 99% of the time, people will walk away, even from a free consult, with at least three actionable things that they can do in their business today that can help them grow their business. Um, it's very seldom that they walk away without at least three things. And that is the best, as you were talking about before, Frank, perhaps it's the best thing in the world when you know that you've made someone's life better. Like, that's what we do it for. That's well, what I mean, we're all doing it a, for. A lot of feedback I get is, wow, well, I didn't know that. Well, I didn't know yeah. that. I didn't know that. You know, it, it's like posting on your Google, Google Google profile, which was called Google My Business before. People don't know you can use that as social media for, for Google. See, I'm going to say it. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you can put events on there. You can put posts, announcements. You can connect products directly from your website. And it's free. It costs nothing. So we need to go and check you out. Check out your website. Check out your socials. And start taking this stuff on board and making life easier. I'm going to wrap it up because if I don't, we will be here till four o'clock. And uh, I'm flying out to Bali tomorrow morning, and we've got a million things to do. So, um, but I would love to, um, I love to. We'll catch up again soon. But I just want to thank you so much, Vanessa, for for your time, 
for your um, energy, for your experience, for your generosity. And um, I'm super excited to see other people reaching out to you and knowing that you can help them so much. And if you're in this group and you are keen to be on an interview and we can showcase you and your skills, just reach out to me, DM, and we'll and we'll get you on, on here because I'm all about community here and we've got such incredible women with incredible skills. So let's share them. Absolutely. Have an awesome day, everyone. Vanessa, again, thank you so, so much. Thanks for and, having me. Um, you're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing so much with us. You're just very generous. Have an awesome day and I'll speak to you again soon, folks. Thanks, Michelle. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.